Due to concerns about upsetting King Charles, the U.S. declined Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's request. The U.S. government denied a request from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry out of concern that it would enrage King Charles. In order to attend the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II in September 2022, U.S. President Joe Biden took a plane from the U.S. to the U.K. After that, Biden took an Air Force One flight back to the United States. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's staff reportedly contacted the White House to request permission for Meghan and Harry to board the President's aircraft after the funeral. The request was denied, though, out of concern that it would strain relations between the US and Buckingham Palace. The Mail was informed by a source that it would have caused such a commotion. It would have caused tensions between the palace and the new king. An additional insider commented that the plan was non-starter. In 2020, Meghan and Harry will no longer be active members of the royal family. Following a brief stay in Canada, the couple relocated to California, where they have been residing for the past three years. The Sussexes have attacked the monarchy in public on numerous occasions, since leaving the royal family. In order to promote his autobiography, which was published in January 2023, the Duke of Sussex gave several TV interviews in which he criticized the royal family. In his autobiography, Spare, Prince Harry May digs at Camilla, Princess Kate, and his brother, Prince William. According to a source, Meghan Markle now regrets not participating more in the book since the couple has been dubbed professional whiners as a result of its publication. It's not as easy for Meghan to distance herself because she needs to be seen as fully supporting Harry, the source told Heat. Meghan can now see that, whether it's fair or not, they are being viewed as these professional whiners, the source said.